Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how we can install the Federal Linux distribution into a virtual box. So first of all you need to download the ISO image of Fedora. So here we just go on the Google and type this Fedora ISO download and click on the first link. Then after that you will get this uh, download Fedora Workstation 42 and you also using the same version. So I have already downloaded, just click on this download button here and it will start downloading the ISO image for you. So already I have downloaded here you can see Fedora Workstation Live 42. Okay. After that just open up your virtual box and click on this new button. So I'll be uh, currently I'm in the export mode. So you will get the interface like this but just click on this export mode and select for write the name Fedora. Then you have to select the ISO image that is this one. Then select the type as Linux and it will auto select the Fedora. Uh, hardware you can provide, I will be providing it to up to 4 GB, 4.5 and uh, processor S3, hard disk I will be giving up to just uh, write it around 80 GB, okay. Make sure your host OS also is having the same. After that just click on this finish and I got some error because already I had this uh, already exist is showing so let's create something here federal underscore storage if you get the same issue just change the name and click on this finish that's nice then next step you just click on the start button and it will take a bit of time so just wait so here you can set spawning vm up okay that's nice just let me go into the maximize mode and you can see test this media and start Fedora workstation live. Yeah, I want just click it enter. Okay, let's wait, it will do some checks. So you have to wait for it. Okay, so here you can see it's checking. Okay, let's wait. I'll just pause the video so that uh, next will go. Okay, so you can see the media check is complete. Result is passed. It is okay to use this media. So from here, it takes around two three minutes of time to get your uh, Fedora GUI. So let's wait for it. I will just pause the video. Okay, so now this black screen is coming up. So still, it will take take some time. Let's wait. Okay, so here you can see uh, I got the screen. Welcome to Fed for me around five to eight minutes of time. So just click on not now for now and here you can see this uh, toggle button is here. Just click on it and you'll get a option here install to hard drive. So just uh, click on this install to hard drive and again it's going to take around 2, 3 or 5 minutes of time for you to open up a screen. So let's wait. Okay, so initializing you can see here. Okay, so just you have to select your language. I will be selecting next English. Okay, use the entire disk. Again, next. Yeah, it is it and install. So now process has been started. Installing you can see storage configuration in progress. Then it will do software installation, then system configuration, then finalization. After that, you need to restart it. Okay, so here let's just wait and let it complete so storage configuration has been completed so wait for soft installation so it's also in progress you can see once it completes uh, then i'll be back till then i just pause the video okay so here you can see software installation has been completed so we are going for the system configuration now so let's wait again Okay, so all the four process or stages has been completed. So here you can see it has been successfully installed. So to begin using Fedora, exit to live desktop. Okay, let's click on exit. 
okay now after that what you have to do you have to simply go here and click on power off and just power off the vm so let's wait and click on this power off button yes okay so yeah done so now what you have to do you have to come into the virtual box go in settings then you have to go in storage and you have to just uh, select this under controller this uh, iso file it will be if i just uh, yeah okay it's the same iso file you have to click right click and click on remove and just remove it click on ok nice next again you have to start the vm yeah let's wait for boot up here we will need to set the username and the password again not again that is the first time which we will be doing here so installation has been completed okay and to get the into the full screen just uh, uh, do right control and s switch okay it's not happening but if you will again yeah it's done yes that's nice okay so we have to select the language select and click on next if something happened i guess screen is stuck let me just do again it's happening because of my host os let's wait okay it's stuck uh, i'm again going to just uh, power off and restart okay let's click on restart you will not the you will not face the same issue if you have a good host os Uh, it's uh, okay just to voting for the audience. Yeah, it's auto selected. Okay, now you can say you are getting the full screen, not small screen. That's nice. Okay, now let's set the language, click on next, next okay uh, i'm just keeping it as default here yeah, the time zone You're selecting in the time zone okay click on next next and here you have to keep the username so i will keeping the same name as i use so i also will be keeping same click on password to next all done start using fedora Tool. if you want to take a tour you can take a tour or just skip so i'll be skipping here so now you can see your fedora has been installed and so apps terminal everything is working fine the host name you will see okay so fedora has been installed successfully in your virtual box so if you now just restart so it will ask you to enter your username and the password which you have configure this now so that's it guys in this video and i will see you in the next one if you have any queries please ask us in the comment section thank you thank you so much for watching